Ding, 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 welcome back. We are back up in this thing for real. I am Trey Amazing, your favorite part-time stripper, part-time pastor, but full-time dating commentator, and this is Ringside's very own Corner Confessions. Today, we have a deliciously delightful Atlanta influencer inside the ring, dripping with uncut and unapologetic, I don't give a fuck, sex appeal. She is the host of Anything Goes on Atlanta's own Hits 92.3, which airs Saturday nights at 10 p.m. Take it from me, ladies and gentlemen. She is indeed a spicy spitfire on social media and in real life, and she ain't biting her song for nobody. <laughs> Knuckle up and buckle up, because we have none other than the beautiful Alex in Wonderland. Say what's up. What's up, y'all? Oh, my God. I love that intro. Hey. <laughs> I <man>. love it. <laughs> I made mean, it just for you. I feel like I need that everywhere I go. <laughs> I get, hey, look. I'm, I'm only text her call away. I'm just saying. I made, I made it just for you. Thank you. So, Alex in Wonderland, you know, you came highly, highly recommended by, you know, none other than Head Crack. Thank you. Bless um, bless you. you know, we, he and I had a great interview, and he told me, he was like, yo, you have got to reach out to my friend Alex in Wonderland. Pulled up your social media, and I was impressed because <laughs> your social media is a lot of things, but boring is not. <laughs> And so, briefly, you know, before we, you know, kick things off, kind of give like a brief introduction of who you are and what your, you know, station is all about. I know you're the host of uh, Hits 92.3, so tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, well, like you said, I'm Alex in Wonderland. I don't think I could say it better than you just did. <laughs> but I'm uh, from here, from Atlanta. I've uh, been around for a while, and i just been doing my radio thing. Uh, I host a show called Anything Goes on Hits 92.3. Uh, right now you can catch me on Saturday nights, but I think I'm going to uh, change time slots soon, so you got to keep up with me, okay? okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, no, so I, I produced the morning show over there also uh, called All Hustle No Fear, and um, there's a, it's called, uh, we're doing a late night, uh, after dark morning show coming soon. After um, dark morning Yeah, show. a little special, a little special thing I got going for y'all. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I got going on now, you know, dipping in and out. I do a, a thing called Big Girls Move as well. So you know you can be thick and fine. <laughs> yeah, so if you want to work out with me, go to Big Girls Move. You can do that too. But um, yeah, that's where I'm at. Okay, <laughs> and we're gonna make it easy for everybody. You know, we're gonna we're gonna include all the links in the description so people will definitely know how to find you, get in contact with you, and subscribe. Um, you know, just speaking with you on social media, you brought up a very very interesting topic, and it's a topic I felt like it deserves its own interview. So we're gonna break it down <laughs> like it ain't never been broken down before. So, body count. Body count. Body count. Everybody body talking count. about it. Yes. Uh, the men talking about it, the women talking about it, they're getting together and it's explosive. Mm -hmm. And it is a topic that is invading social media, invading all relationship spaces, podcasts, groups, you know, the whole nine. Why do you think just now, you know, not to say that it was never an issue, but for some reason it's now a very popular and trending issue on social media. What do you think brought this about now? Uh, I don't know. I mean, obviously, people's relationships and sex is out there times 10 because we have social media. But I think it's just one of those, it's a hot topic. Like you said, there's so many uh, strong opinions about it. And I think there's so many double standards with it as well. A man's body count versus a woman's body count. And I also think it's culturally... Uh, tantalizing. I think I think the black culture looks at it different than the white culture. So mm. I think that's kind of why it's, it's a topic that can just keep going and going. You know, and I think, well, I told you my opinion. <laughs> oh, yeah. We, we definitely want to, I want to, I want to, you know, hash out your opinion. Um, because, I mean, again, I think your opinion is worth noting. And mm -hmm. um, because, I mean, well, you know what, let's not be around the bush. Let's, let's get to your opinion. Um, you mentioned to me that you feel like men you know, don't need or shouldn't want a woman with low body count. As a man, you know, we talk about, and I can relate, you know, we talk about, well, let me just back this up. My whole thoughts on body count, first off, I'm not a big fan of the subject matter altogether. Uh -huh. Because body count, when I meet a woman, my whole thing is, let's, are you clean? You know, let's, let's go to the clinic. You know, I just want to know your health status. Yeah. <laughs> I don't get into body count because there is no way with anybody, you can tell if they're lying or not. You can't look at a person, you can't examine them and tell how many people but, they've been with. Mm -hmm. So if I meet you and you say, well, I've only been with two men, 
instinctively, I may only, I may know you're lying, but how can I, how can I disprove it? You know, it's like, it's like, in, it's like, you know, in terms of the legal system, you know, when it comes to the law, it's not what you know, it's what, what you, you can prove. prove. And that's true. It's what you can prove. And everyone knows no one's body count is accurate. Like you said, you subtract five, a minimum, you subtract five. Right. <laughs> but no, I think, it, I think it's just, it's, it's like you said, you cannot prove it. I can lie to you, but at the end of the day, does it really matter? If you go and you're clean, you're mm -hmm. clean, that's fresh start. Fresh fresh start. We're we're both clean, so let's move from here. You there's no way to know whether or not um I've been with two men, but I've been with seventy women. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like what's the what's the difference? Is there a difference? Mm -hmm. So no, I just don't I just think the conversation to me, like I'm I'm with you, it shouldn't be had. Well, not that it shouldn't, I won't say it shouldn't be had, but can we just get a ballpark and then keep it moving? It's not nothing you need to harp on. Um, it's not nothing I'm really interested in, to be honest. I don't care how many you had. I care where we at. We can go forward from here. Right. Yeah. Like I, I literally, you know, I'm 44 years old. I literally have never asked a woman, what's your body count? No. Never that I've never, I've never been asked and I've never asked a man either. Mm -hmm. And then that's another thing. Does it, does it go both ways? You know, like two people in a relationship who have zero body count they get together that's the you know that young love they get together someone's eye someone's gonna get curious someone's eyes gonna wonder you're gonna be into that's human nature mm -hmm. so now you've got these two virgins who've been in love for 10 years what's gonna happen when just what's gonna happen <laughs> that's my thing you can't you can't um, you can't deny curiosity you know mm -hmm. what I mean and so at some point someone is going to step out or do something and of course I know there's those people no my grandparents been together for 70 okay and one of them cheated okay <laughs> one of them cheated I, I do want to say that I, I want to say you know the people that follow me on social media you know I've been dating comedy for 10 years I do pride myself on fidelity uh -huh. you know I am somebody that I I'm guilty of a lot of things I may you know, I definitely drink milk out the car and straight up, which drives my girlfriend crazy. I may pass gas in bed sometimes. <laughs> but, there, you know, I've always said there are three things I won't do. Uh -huh. I won't put my hands on you, I won't call you out your name, and I won't cheat on you. Cheat. Those are my three pillars, and I don't break up for nobody. Okay. But I do feel like, um, you know, for me, as far as a woman's body count, historically, the only turn off if I meet a woman who has a reputation uh -huh. then that could turn me off if this one if I meet a woman who okay my boy over here been with her these dudes over here my frat brother she's going to the football team I'm not going to say it's a hundred percent turn off but I'm going to give it's going to give me pause right we're not even talking about body count it's like okay what have you been doing to where you're like a, your sex is a hot topic <laughs> in every circle of guys I go in okay so here's where I look at that okay so I, what you said reputation Mm -hmm. So there's those quiet freaks, them them girls who read Harry Potter and they out there, you know what I'm saying, getting their back blown out and nobody knows about it. Then you got the, like the BBL girls who are on the front cover and everyone assumes they're getting their black back blown out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's very two different kind of people. Everyone's gonna trust the little Harry Potter girl, <laughs> but they look at BBL like she just slut it out, and it's just like that's that reputation. And part of reputation, you are not. You, it's hard to be responsible for the entirety of your reputation right. and I know what I put out on um, Instagram I know my titties are always out I love titties I love your titties your mama titties my titties is what it is hey, I'm a breast <laughs> And, but, this, this is a titty friendly, it's, a titty -friendly it is, it's a titty safe place mm -hmm. <laughs> but with that people will go on my social media and assume that okay because they see skin they see titties oh she gotta be fucking and I wanna know about it then you get those creepers in those circles who are like oh yeah I fuck with her or I slid in her DM and maybe he did and maybe I said hi but it wasn't nothing beyond that so now these reputations in these circles start they're being created and, and, some, and sometimes they can be embellished. It, people a lot lie. of times. <laughs> yeah, people definitely lie. Yeah. Um, really quickly, yeah, we're going to make that a hashtag. This is a, this is a safe space for titties. Titty safe place. Yeah, this is, this, that's my, this is the first time that's been a hashtag on my channel. So we definitely going with that. But uh, no, I do agree because you're going to have some folks who are haters and better. They will lie. They will, you know, and, and yeah. You know, you will have those guys that if a woman dresses a certain way or carries herself a certain way, they're going to assume. Mm -hmm. Which again, you know, the older I get, I realize you can't assume shit. You can't assume you know, anything because, because Harry Potter getting her back blown out. Mm -hmm. like. <laughs> and so I definitely try to stay away from those assumptions, you know, but in the past, you know, because I, you know, we, you know, if you've been in high school, you've you heard about those, that girl, oh, well, you got to go to her, she'll, you know. 
just a dick. Like, yeah, you know, she exactly. Knows her, you know, so stuff like that would definitely give me pause. But if I'm meeting a woman on a date and we begin dating, whatever the case may be, I'm not gonna ask. So how many men you been with? Right. It's a pointless. It's, it's a pointless conversation. No. Yeah. I I agree. And then so I also think of oh, you know when you get with someone that chemistry is there, right? That sexual chemistry has to be there. And if you're with someone who has a lower body count, which men seem to prefer, she's unexperienced. A lot of times I question whether or not men go for that so that they can mold that, so they can be in charge of that, so that becomes theirs. Mm -hmm. Versus, you know, getting with a woman who, who knows herself completely, knows what she likes, she can teach as well. You know, she's more experienced, so her body count is higher. Mm -hmm. But you know, Sometimes I question the man's motive when he does want that lower body count, you know? I, I know for me, I can see the positives and negatives of both sides. You know, for me, a woman with a low body count, because, you know, a low body count doesn't necessarily, to me, translate to um, lack of sexual experience. You could have been with one man and been with him sexually a thousand times. True, um, but you and, know that man. You know, right. you know that man. You know he likes no hands all throat. You know mm -hmm. he likes... No hands yeah. off <laughs> you know that you—that's you... a song. Right there. Car, Cardi B, no I want some credit. Cardi B, give this, give this video some credit. No hands off throat. No hands off throat. That's a song right there. But she knows that man, and 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 I know women like this. My godparents have been together since they were twelve. They are sixty-five now, Damn. and I know they're freaks for each other. Mm -hmm. But it just—if any one of them had to step out, it would be so foreign. They would be so foreign to that other body. You know what I mean? And so. I think multiple partners allows you to experience and, and see things that another partner can't show you or wouldn't mm -hmm. show you because their mindset is not there. Or I might know you like titties and he likes ass. And, and so I get dealt with differently between you two. You know what I mean? So it's like, just. What, what person you going to get from the back? <laughs> yeah. Or what person you going to get Exactly. So like it all depends. <laughs> no, I, I agree. You know, part of, but part of my perspective, you know, I can't speak for what other men like, you know, my background is in public health, my master's is in public health. So sometimes, you know, I have definitely been guilty of if I hear about a woman who's been with, oh yeah, I've been with 200 men. I'm thinking, okay. Okay, what, there's a cap though. <laughs> I'm like, okay, what, what's your OCD test look like right now? Uh, that, that, that frames me. Yeah. Because again, and you, you know, you, you can catch a disease, you can catch HIV from being with one person. Yeah. You know, but throughout my career in public health, I've come across a lot of people who, they call out HIV from being faithful to their spouse, and their spouse is cheating. cheating. And so, but honestly, even from a, a risk standpoint, the more partners you're told, okay, you are increasing the likelihood. However, I do I do agree with you that you know practice makes perfect, and so I can understand how a person with more with a higher body count probably will bring a higher degree of experience mm -hmm. and uh, sexual intelligence. Um, but for you, you feel like men should not and should not go for women with the low body count. And so what and so other negatives in terms of a man meets a woman who is a virgin, what do you feel like, you know, he probably should and shouldn't expect out of her in terms of a relationship and even in terms of sex? Oh, I mean, first of all, seeking a virgin is strange. <laughs> That's yeah. some weird shit. <laughs> Seeking a virgin, uh, that to me is a red flag. You're hyper manipulative. Um, th it's just, and I'm older, so don't, like, I'm 50. You know what I mean? Like, I'm old, so I think my perspective is a little bit different. You look damn good, right? Okay, I'm not really 50. I just say that so I get compliments. Oh. But. <laughs> I'm about to say, my God, damn. I'm no. like, you could drink the water. <laughs> but no, I am 40 something, so, you know, I'm not far from 50 at all. Mm -hmm. But I think maybe my perspective is from this side of the coin, you know what I mean? But I just, when I see men like seeking virgins, um, it, it just to me that's or not even virgins just the inexperienced the meek girl the girl who hasn't been out there like that um when when you seek it with intention that's just when it becomes fucking weird because why mm -hmm. why do you want that why don't you want someone who is on pace with everyone else and like i understand not necessarily wanting to have the 200 body count the sex workers if you don't which is kind of a conversation in itself would you date a sex worker but oh we, we definitely gotta, <laughs> gotta bring you back for part two uh, <laughs> you gotta see okay would you I'm no, that's that. a real big question of mine because the sex industry has expanded. But I'm oh, sorry, that's a whole other topic. So, <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, expanded, but no, yeah, so, but no, um, I just think when a man like, and and I'm not even just with men. I don't think women should go with guys with low body counts. 
Um, I think the effect is, is they get attached to you. Um, you become that one to them and it's not a healthy that one. They are attached to that vagina. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like that's, it's almost a maternal attachment. Like it's kind of strange, but, <laughs> but I think everyone needs to be equally yoked in their experience, you know, somewhere mm -hmm. around the same body count. And, yeah. And then that way you can move forward and that's not a thing. And then y'all can grow together. You know, y'all can take your experiences and grow together. So, so you know, it's, it made me think about something else because, you know, I don't always, I can't say I fully understand or always agree when you have the people who are, you know, really uh, spiritual at the Bible. They say, well, what about soul ties? Every time you sleep with someone, you're building a, a spiritual bond with them. And so, and, that, and when you have those people talk, I can already tell your opinion. Uh, <laughs> you know, when those people enter into the conversation about body count, they say, well, this is why you should never want a man or a woman with a high body count because they have a lot of soul ties and they'll never truly just be you. You'll be still sharing them with everyone else they've been with. I'm thinking, okay, this sounds like some shame, some more content like soul ties. I mean, so first of all, we have to understand humans, we are seasonal. Everything mm -hmm. in this world is seasonal. We are, for some reason, we have this idea that we get with this one person and that's the forever, ever, ever, ever. Mm -hmm. And that's just not true. That's not life. Life is going to suck if you look at it like that. But if you understand that things change, it doesn't mean it's bad or good. It's just change. So anyone you've been with, yeah, they're going to have that soul tie, I guess. But if you're really, really a spiritual person, you understand the art of cleansing, you understand the art of releasing, you understand the art of moving on because that's, we are circular. Everything rolls, it's not square or linear, right? So I just, when I, when I hear that, I'm like, okay, first of all, you're not really spiritual <laughs> or not spiritual enough, but I think it's just a cop out. I think um, that is a, a, it's a, it's, that's a frame of mind um, that'll keep you stuck and hurt in the long run mm -hmm. but um yeah when i get with someone everything there's a bit of the their past is who they are their past makes who they are currently mm -hmm. so no matter what i mean you're them interacting with the cashier is going to have an impact on who they are so of course you know it's not necessarily that they're bringing it to you the sex it's not the soul that they're bringing to you but just be right within yourself and don't fuck no demons and then like fuck you'll be don't fuck no demons like you know better like you know so and then you you don't have to take in a sex doesn't have to be spiritual it could be completely physical my clit is here i'm having an orgasm the end be straight carnal exactly so it's like if you are the person who is releasing your soul every time you fuck then maybe you don't need to be fucking like that but you can't Good knock point. the people who are out here having orgasms because we are humans and we need to have orgasms you know you don't have to take them with you everywhere orgasms are important orgasms, Orgas matter. <laughs> orgasms matter so you know one one of the final questions that you know for a lot of the men and i know you encounter a lot of men with you know divergent opinions you know regarding you know this topic so when you hear the men say you know the reason why they don't want women with high body counts is they feel like well, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. I actually, the funny thing is, I have a cousin who, well, he's retired, but he was in the adult, you know, film industry. He's a former porn star. And, okay. and he's talking about, he's like, no. He said, no, men should definitely want to turn a hoe, should make a hoe into a housewife. He's always asserted because a hoe comes with experience. Hoes know how to Man. attend to the needs of a man. I'm telling you. Hoes are excellent in terms of customer service. And so, your what grandmama you was a hoe. Your grandmama was a hoe, <laughs> and it's not a bad thing. <laughs> but your grandmama was a hoe. That everyone has that. Both my grandmothers, they um, they got with their men, military men. Mm -hmm. Their military men uh, got them pregnant. They each have four plus kids. They stayed at home. They in the house. I'm like, but my grandmama was a hoe for my granddaddy. Like I know this, mm -hmm. and everything you just described is exactly what makes them great partners. Like. And, and mind you, there's going to be people who looking at this who are young, you're in your 20s, that kind of thing. But when you get older, you realize there's a give and take to every relationship, right? There's a, you get, I'm giving you this and I'm getting that. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm home, I'm watching your kids, but I've got my house paid for, I've got my car paid for, all this shit. I got money to go shopping and feed these babies. That if you break it down, that's really the same relationship as a, a pimp and a hoe. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
of course, take out the, you know, the frills, but it, it boils down to the same thing. So I always be like, your grandmama was a hoe, like, and, and she, she made it. <laughs> she, she made it. <laughs> she made it. Cross finish No, yeah, and I'm with your, uh, with your cousin on that, like, especially, like, I keep, I keep going back to age, because it, it doesn't matter, but once you've seen things, and you've been through things, and you've had your failed relationships, and your careers, and stuff, and you see this chick, hoes don't stay hoes forever, ever, in, mm -hmm. in the fact that, you know they're constantly giving their vagina out. It doesn't, and it doesn't stay that way forever. But that mindset of a hoe, like take a hoe's mindset. She's a hustler. She gonna get what she need to get. She's going to get shit taken care of by any means necessary. Like these are things that people overlook in hoes, all right? <laughs> and then, but now I will say this: I, there's a difference between a hoe and a slut, though. Break it down. So a hoe is gonna get what she needs for what she got. A slut is gonna. <laughs> The, the sluts is where we, I, we, I draw the line. We don't do no slutty shit. What, you got to get something in return. Something. <laughs> Peace slutty. of mind. <laughs> she's, just, she's just out there. Yeah, and truth. she's not doing it for herself. She's doing it for them. And that's mm -hmm. where the issue lies. A hoe is doing it for herself. She's going to get what she wants. She wants that nut. She wants that money. She wants whatever the fuck it is. She's going to get that. And, and that's why I can rock with the hoes. The, the sluts, y'all got to figure life out. <laughs> No, you, you can't. Because the sluts got, they still got shit to work on. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You do as long as you do it for yourself, you're a winner. Don't mm -hmm. do it for these. Don't do it for these dudes. <laughs> do not do it for these dudes. Don't be, don't be a public dunk. <laughs> and so, you know, for the and this, I promise, this is my last question. I just thought of it. <laughs> and so, for the for the men and women out there who you know, body count is a big issue for them. Because again, you know, anybody on social media or listen to podcasts, body count is everywhere. It's a trending topic. And you hear people say, well, of course, as a guy, I know what it's like to be in spaces where men like, I don't want to date a woman and I take her someplace and one out of every three guys have been with her. Like, I don't want to be with this woman and this guy, that guy can come up to me and say, oh, yeah, that pussy was good. Oh, yeah, oh, she can suck a mean dick. Oh, you gave such, such, oh, we used to call it jawbone back in the day. And I've heard, and I've definitely heard men talk about, like, you know, they don't expect their wife, you know, a lot of men don't expect their their woman or any woman they, they want to make a wife. They don't always necessarily mean her to be a virgin. They just don't want, a lot of men don't want to date the town slut. Or, you know, like you said, they don't want to date the woman that everywhere they go, every man can tell them every detail about their wife's body. It's like, okay, well, damn. You know, everywhere I go, I'm like, you know, you have the same experience as me. So what do you say to the, and a lot, and, and women are like this, you know, too. A lot of women have echo, you know, similar, similar, like, they don't want to marry a man that has banged their sisters, their lines, their sorority sisters, or their their coworkers, or their, the women they, went to, they go to the gym with. Like, what do you say to people who have that, that concern? I mean, I get it. I do get it. And that, that lies within yourself, your ego, your pride, your masculinity, your feminine, whatever it is, that's on you. I get it. If you don't want people knowing what the inside of your wife's vagina looks like, I understand. Move somewhere else. <laughs> Go find a wife in another city. I don't know. But it's, I, I get it. Um, if it's not for you, it's not for you. I just don't think you should, uh, you know, don't judge someone based on their body count is my mm -hmm. kind of my what I would really like to get out of this don't judge them um, it could be for so many reasons and it doesn't necessarily mean that they have any kind of diseases or anything you know what I mean it, and it's just um, I just think for me it's just such a non-factor there's so much more to worry about um, mm -hmm. I do and I and I and I will say this I do have a line of course when you said 200 I'm like oh yeah that's a lot of that's a lot of dicks you <laughs> but <laughs> Like, but, yeah, that's a lot. But it, it, there's people who's, who you can match. Who There's people in your arena. You know what I mean? So, like, there's someone for everybody. I just, it's, I think you need to, um, we're, let's just not judge these hoes. We're not, <laughs> we're not gonna judge these hoes. We're, we're driving today. <laughs> but also, just um, appreciate the body count. You know what I'm saying? If, if she's got a high body count and she clean, that's a businesswoman right there. She is managing the product. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Like, there's exclusive. Yeah, she she's got she's got experience. I'm sure she's learned some things. She could probably put you on. And then if she's really a networker, her body count, she better use that to her advantage. You know what I mean? Like, well, I mean, they were talking about like uh, what was it over either over the summer or last couple months? Brittany Renner, 
because Brittany Renner came out and she admitted she's been with 35 men. Uh -huh. And they were questioning, like, really, 35? And I think she made, she confessed, oh, yeah, it was either two or three in one day uh -huh. or something like that. And then she, I don't know if that got the conversation started. Maybe it was Brittany Renner. Maybe, I don't know if it was directly her. But around that time is when a lot of the conversations started focusing on body count. And it was like, okay, for her age, I don't know how old. Yeah. Early 30s or something like that. Yeah. And then it's like, okay, 35 men. And a lot of people were like, okay, is that a lot or, you know, adequate amount? I'm like, well, that's another reason. I think for me, I can say this. I've never met her, but for me, that's another reason why I probably wouldn't ask women because I'm one of those people, don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer that to. That too. You know, that so too. you don't ask questions that, you know, if a woman tells me, you know, I've been with, that's still gonna get you. I don't want to know. <laughs> no, but that's understand, and I think Brittany Renner is a great example. Um, she's someone who I look at as a fragile person. So when I see a hoe, part of it is the confidence, and I'm talking, and I have very like I'm talking in general, but to me there are clear definitions between these these genres of you know sexual people like hoes, sluts, that kind of thing. So Brittany Renner, she comes across as slightly damaged so I wonder mm -hmm. where she falls is she a hoe or a slut you know what I mean is she doing this for herself or is she doing it for them um is she doing it to make money you know because I mean she's got her following she's doing her thing is, is, is it her occupation um the fact that she came out and talked about it I I would like to think that she is confident about it you know that is something that she's okay with which I think she should be and if she's if she's 40 years old, it's 35. I don't know how old she is either, but it's, you know, it's 35 a lot. If she's 20, 35 might be a lot. But then who, I mean, if you're not fucking her, your opinion doesn't matter, right? Right. I mean, that's how I look at it. Yeah. Like, I ain't voting, so I don't care. Right? She's one of those ones where I think her reputation precedes her. I think her reputation is embellished, but it's also part of her occupation. And it's that's that gift and curse thing, you know, that you got going on when you choose to live that life. And, and it's just kind of what it is. It's just there's, trust me. Uh, what's her name? Larza Pippen. She just yeah. marrying uh, Michael Jordan Jr. <laughs> Jordan Jr. <laughs> he doesn't care because <laughs> Larza is a big hoe. Uh, Future's another example. You know how many bitches will fuck Future? And oh, he's yeah, the so biggest hoe there is. <laughs> Future, he, he's a hoe. He got hoes. He, he's he's but part this of the whole thing. Yeah, as long as the hoes is not going up. You know, trying to take the pastor down, just leave the pastor alone and go over here to Hoville and like stay in your lane. And pastor, you stay in your lane. <laughs> the the problem comes is when we try to cross lanes. So like all this, all this cross pollination, <laughs> right? The hoes and the hoes like, over here, pastors over there. I'm like, stay in your own, stay over there. Right? You know, who, who, who is the mayor of Hoville? Oh, so, ma future. future. Future is the mayor of Hoville. Okay. Okay. Future's the mayor of Hoville. Female wise, oh, that's a good one. Female mm. wise. I don't know. We don't. We don't create a poll on it. Like, who is maybe this? yeah. If, who's, if there's one, who's the mayor? Who's of the mayor of Hopeville? I don't know. Or who's who's the governor of, of you know Slut <laughs> Pound Town? Yeah. Oh my God! Yeah, who's we, the president we, of Pound Town? Oh, it's no, not, that's a, see, that's another story. That one that's right there. That's another story. I'm like, I I, I want to nominate Sexy Red. And I'm like, man, you made a whole song about Pound Town. Man, we all know what color your coochie is. Like, but but then when you didn't see the tape came out. Her colors didn't match right. Like oh, I, saw <laughs> oh, I, I sent it. You sent it. I sent it. Don't lie, girl. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, come on, come on now. Come it's on. okay if it's brown and brown. Brown is pretty. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, hey, right. it's, it's all good. You know, like it. It's all good. Well, Alice in Wonderland, this has been eye-opening. This has been a wonderful, wonderful interview. What I mean, we dropping. What do you say? No hands, all throat. No hands, all <laughs> I got it tatted on me. No hands, no hands, all throat. <laughs> I love it. Oh, we gonna make that a hashtag. No hands, all throat. Safe space for titties. <laughs> City safe yes, space. Yes, we are. Oh man, we, look. If this goes viral, I, we we giving you credit. I'm gonna tag you. Like she, she said it. Because, Copyrighted, trademarked, all that. <laughs> um, oh man, I'm digging it. Uh, but before I let you go, please let my audience know where they can find you, where they can subscribe. 
how they can get in touch with you on the airways, break it down for them. Okay, so I am Alex in Wonderland. You can find me on Instagram. That's my favorite place. <laughs> uh, Y'all need to hop in my stories because that's where the fun is. But I am Alex in Wonderland. That's A-L-I-X, the letter N, Wonderland with no E. So it's kind of like a riddle. You got to figure it out. Alex in Wonderland. Uh, you can catch me on Hits 92.3, uh, Saturday nights at 10 p.m. You can catch me on uh, All Hustle, No Fear YouTube. Um, <laughs> that's where uh, some of my, my post past shows are. And then, uh, like I said earlier, if you want to work out with me, Big Girls Move. Um, it's a subscription-based workout program for big girls. We talk shit uh, and get fine. So, uh, yeah, find me there. Well, y'all already fine. <laughs> right. I'm okay, I'm digging. And everybody, like I said, we're going to make it real easy for you. We're going to include all our information in the description. So, you ain't got to remember it or whatever. Just click on it. We'll take you right there. Um, big shout out to everyone in the ringside Facebook group. You know, go ahead. If you're on Facebook, just go to the search bar, type in Ringside LLC. Request to join the private Facebook group with either myself or one of the admins who want to admit you. Alex, thank you so much. Thank you. This has been titillating to say the least. <laughs> and everybody out there, make sure you follow this page. Make sure you like this page interview comment but most importantly i need you to hit that big old red button that says subscribe hit it it says subscribe make it real easy for you everybody thank you so much alex and one man everybody out there thank you again and we are out peace <laughs>